Welcome back to the Maran Stack Employee Management System series. In the previous 8th video, we uh, implemented and we completed the layout management system as we displayed layout and filtered and also if that was in pending, so we accepted or rejected the layout. So we uh, completed this uh, in the previous video. In this video, we will move to an important feature which is cascade deletion. So it means that whenever we delete a department, for example, we delete a department. So this department is connected with employees. Look at IT with these employees and employee might have connection with leaves and salary. Okay, so this is an important uh, feature that we should explain. We should properly um, manage this uh, deletion okay if you don't properly manage this so it means that we will face with bugs for example we deleted this it department so now here in the employee when we are retrieving the department so there is no department it department so it will give us an error there is a bugs in our system so we should uh, handle this issue for that we will implement the cascade deletion okay so it means whenever we delete a department so we will delete all the connected employees and also the employees which has connection with leaves and salaries we will delete all those uh, connection also we will uh, delete all these records so let's uh, uh, go and um, implement this feature in this video this is the ninth video uh, but before this in the previous video we implemented okay in the leaves we um, uh, just faced with an error yeah in the previous video come here to the leave controller here we manage okay when we are when we were retrieving the data the leaves per user and per the employee in this api get leave api so i wrote this code okay look at this code so this code give us an error it means that when you were for example if we pass a user id from uh, admin so it will it will be okay but for employee if we log in as an employee so we cannot retrieve the leaves records so let's check it for example i have logged in as employee so let's check move to the leaves so we don't have any records the reason for that is that whenever we pass the employee id so here it is checking it's check first of all the employee id the, so here for the employee we pass the user id sorry okay so whenever we log in as uh, employee so we pass the user id so when we pass the user id it check first of all the employee id the employee ID is not existed because we passed user id so it will come here to this body but it is not entering to this body the reason is that whenever we run this code so it return an empty array this an empty array will not come because it is not null to enter to this block so here we will just handle that issue or leaves dot length was not equal to equal to with zero if the length was not zero so uh, sorry it was equal to if the length was zero so then come to this block again okay so now let's save it so for employee whenever we pass the user id so it will check for all here this line so here it will not find any records so then it will come to this app and it will find the records and it will return to the leaves then we will return the leaves so look at we retrieve the data directly so this is the employee we logged in as employee this one issue was existed in the previous uh, part so now uh, let's move to our cascade deletion okay so to cascade deletion let's log in as admin so after logging come here to the department for example i want to delete a department come here to the employees uh, for example this meal okay this meal one i want to delete this meal department this employee this meal department so i would like to implement whenever i am deleting this so i should remove the employee uh Han employee also and also this employee as if this employee has connection with leaves and salary so i will delete those records also so let's do it let's delete it so let's move to the department uh, model so how we can uh, handle the cascade deletion in mongodb using mongos come here to the department model so we will handle that here in this department model it means that first of all i will show you the deletion of employ uh, department come here to the department controller so in the department controller let's check the uh, deletion okay delete department so here we are deleting department using find by id and delete so we will use this function okay find by id and delete 
to um, pre-method. Okay, we will use the pre-method in this department whenever we are calling this find by id and delete method so first we will call this middleware okay so here we will just implement a middleware in that middleware before deleting this department i will delete all the employees salaries and leaves then i will delete the uh, department so let's proceed here we will use department schema dot pre we will use pre middleware and we will call this middleware whenever we use find one uh, sorry delete one method delete one whenever we <coughs> whenever we use this and call this delete one method so it will be automatically called okay this department schema pre middleware will be called automatically comma here i will specify the options for this model where first of all document is true it means document based and query false because a raw object is false we cannot access the raw object okay but we can access the document let's create an asynchronous function next callback function and in this function let's use try cage block and here let's first of all find all the employees const is equal to a wait keyword and we will use employee model dot find find based on department because the employee has connection with department through department column so this dot slash id this dot slash id means the department that i am deleting right now okay it will access the id of that department so it means here we will find all the employees and store them inside the employees um uh, uh, uh variable okay so let's write here employee.js so after storing the employees here now we will find just and we will uh, get the id of these employees it means we will just retrieve the ids const emp ids is equal to with employees dot map function retrieve amp dot slash id just retrieve the ids and store the ids inside mp ids variable so after storing the ids and that is an array with us now let's delete all the employees await employee dot delete money so i would like to delete money employees so here i will just call department this dot slash id okay the employees which has the department id delete all those employees now let's delete the leaves await leave dot delete money yeah to the leaves now we will um, for leaves so we will specify uh, the leave has connection with employee so we will write like this okay employee id so the leave has connection with employee through employee id column and here we will just write and we will specify use n operator emp ids okay delete all those leave record which has the id the employee id okay equal to with this array okay if in this array there was an id in this record so delete that record it means if leave has the id of these employees that we stored inside this so uh, delete that this n means this is an operator check in this array and same to this we will use for uh, salary also salary that money okay that is okay so let's import the salary model also that's it so after deleting all these now let's call next callback function so it will go back and continue the operation so here we will use catch if there was an error pass that to the next so this was the operation okay whenever we are deleting the department so it will call this middleware and in this middleware we will first of all delete all the employees then the leave which has connection with that employee then the salary which has connection with that employee so now let's go and come here to the department where we are deleting the department so here we are using find by id and delete method but instead of this i will first of all use find by id first of all i will find a department after finding that then i will delete that 
I wait. Uh, delete department. Uh, department. Dot uh, dot delete one. Delete one. So here I will specify the uh, delete department. Or we can just pass the um, ID of the uh, delete department that we want to delete. So the code is, I think, not like this. That is delete department dot delete one. Okay, like this. So whenever we call this delete one method, so it will call this middleware. Okay, this pre middleware, and it will go and delete the employees' salaries and leaves for that department. Then it will continue the operation to delete the department and uh, return the result so let's now check it uh, let's come here back to the uh, browser and here we have the department so let's for example i want to delete this meal meal has connection with this employee so let's delete this um, uh, department delete okay so it means that is deleted but uh, live it is not updating the user interface i will correct that problem so let's go to the employees look at we don't have that employee that employee has been deleted removed and we also don't have the mail uh, department so let's uh, just uh, correct that the whenever we delete it so we should uh, update the user interface also so for that let's move to the department and i will update the user interface come here to the department helper so in the department helper department buttons handle delete whenever we handle delete So whenever we delete a department on department delete i will just call this uh, component on department delete and i will pass the id so let's move to this function and department button I have passed this on department delete through department. Let's check that. Come here to the departments. Uh, department list. In the department list, we will have that. On department delete, that is okay. Data. Uh, set department. So instead of that, I will just call this one. Okay. Control C and Control V. Okay. The filtered. Uh, this filter object save that and let's check it now we have the department three departments the employees it and logistic for example i want to delete the logistic one and instead of logistic let's delete this it one okay are because the arif has connection with leaves it has leaves history also and i think it has the salary history also okay so we would like to remove all these things because the second this second Khalil uh, employee doesn't have any leave and uh, leave history and any uh, salary history it doesn't have the history because there is no record for that so let's delete the IT department come here and I would like to delete this one do you want to delete okay so let's now check the there are no record to display on the departments So yeah we have deleted that successfully the employee and also if you come here we don't have any live records because all live record has been uh, removed because we don't have any record so let's why we paste again with this error uh, whenever we delete it so we didn't uh, uh, see anything on the user interface so that is the reason of this whenever we call set builder department with the data filter data was not equal to with data switch filter departments uh, is equal to with data so we can solve that problem whenever we call this on department delete so let's come here to the department uh, controller not to the list uh, department helper uh, uh, let's move to the department helper first of all 
yeah in the department helper when you will we call this on department delete uh, function so let's remove even the id we don't need id to pass to the outcome here to the department list now to this we don't need to pass the uh, id in even the asynchronous function and also remove all these code and instead of that i will call this uh, fetch department function let's remove this from use effect hook outside from use effect hook okay now i will call this fetch departments inside this arm department delete save that and let's check it now come here to the department let's add a new department our department let's delete it okay so it will update our user page uh, user interface live come here to the new here we paste with an error we can see the details okay we can edit it that is okay but whenever we press salary we faced with an error okay why so let's check it why it is just uh, there is an error so whenever we want to see the detail of salary and leave so for preventing this problem okay so whenever we paste this problem so i will fix this um, in 11th video i think our 10th video because this was just about the cascade deletion this video in next video we will fix all the bugs that we are facing in other um, codes that we need to improve our coding styles like a uh, loading status and other that we will implement that in the next video so this was all about the cascade deletion so thanks for watching